Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch. And we're going to get right into it tonight. It's episode 74 being brought to you by Combat Flip Flops. But before we get into that, if you give a follow on Facebook and Instagram, you may have seen that this week was announced t-shirts, t-shirts for the podcast. They are going to be tri-blend t-shirts. They are going to be super comfortable. If you've ever worn a tri-blend t-shirt before, you will know what all the hype is about. They will be $25 if you're local. There will be local tax applied and shipping, but 50% of the profits of the t-shirts will go to the Congressional Medal of Honor Society. I'm super, super excited if you would like to get yourself one. It is open for pre-order at this time. I'm going to be doing a month worth of orders before placing the order with the printer since I am not making them myself. Go on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com. There is a featured item right there on the webpage. You can go ahead and click your size. Small through extra large are all one price. If you want 2X or larger, they are going to be a little bit more. There's more material. And it costs me a little bit more to get them printed, so it's going to cost you a little bit more to order them. But do that. Uh, they are going to look great. I am so looking forward to having them done. And... Um, Please, please go and do that. The profits are going toward a good thing. And uh, they're just going to be nice t-shirts to wear. Spreading the name of the podcast, getting this out to more people so more people can know about these tales of honor. And like I said, this episode tonight is being brought to you by Combat Flip Flops. They are a veteran-owned apparel company. And unlike myself, they actually have lots of stuff in stock and uh, this is this is what they do uh, more of what they do they have a mission to create peaceful forward-thinking opportunities for self-determined entrepreneurs affected by conflict these are more than just words on a computer screen in front of me they are the real deal and uh, they are taking their funds and they are helping educate Afghan women and girls. Uh, they are helping uh, clear and remove unexploded landmines and other ordinances in Laos, turning those unexploded ordinances into jewelry. Jewelry, which is so good looking and just an awesome way to recycle and earn money to clear more landmines and other ordinances. It's good stuff. And today here in Pennsylvania, for some reason, it wants to be 78 degrees and I will be wearing my combat flip flop floperators today. I cannot wait. Um, they are they're so comfortable, and I've had them stashed away because of the really cold temperatures. But combat flip flops, I just love the way they are flipping the view on how wars are won by business, not bullets. And now a tale of honor. Harvey C. Barnum Jr. was born on the 21st of July, 1940, in Cheshire, Connecticut, where he also played football and baseball for the Cheshire High School. Harvey was the president of his freshman and senior classes and was also a Boy Scout. After high school, Harvey went on to St. Anselm College in Goffstown, New Hampshire, where he would join the Marine Corps' Platoon Leaders Class Program for two summer sessions. After graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in economics in June of 1962, Harvey was commissioned a Marine Reserve second lieutenant. Harvey attended the basic school at Marine Corps School, Quantico, Virginia, and in December of 1962, he began the Artillery Officer's Orientation Course. After graduating, he was attached to Battery A, 1st Battalion, 12th Marines, 3rd Marine Division at Okinawa, Japan, where he served as forward observer and later as the battalion's liaison officer. After assignments in Japan, Spain, and Hawaii, Harvey would serve on temporary duty in Vietnam as an artillery forward observer with Company H, 2nd Battalion, 9th Marines, 3rd Marine Division. It was his actions on the 18th of December, 1965, that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty as forward observer for artillery while attached to Company H, 2nd Battalion, 9th Marines, 3rd Marine Division reinforced in action against communist forces at Kai Phu in Quang Tin Province, Republic of Vietnam, on 18 December 1965, 
when the company was suddenly pinned down by a hail of extremely accurate enemy fire and was quickly separated from the remainder of the battalion by over 500 meters of open and fire-swept ground and casualties mounted rapidly. Lieutenant Barnum quickly made a hazardous reconnaissance of the area seeking targets for his artillery. Finding the rifle company commander mortally wounded and the radio operator killed, he, he, with complete disregard for his own safety, gave aid to the dying commander, then removed the radio from the dead operator and strapped it to himself. He immediately assumed command of the rifle company and moving at once into the midst of heavy fire, rallying and giving encouragement to all units, reorganized them to replace the loss of key personnel and led their attack on enemy positions from which deadly fire continued to come. His sound and swift decisions and his obvious calm served to stabilize the badly decimated units and his gallant example as he stood exposed repeatedly to point out targets served as an inspiration to all. Provided with two armed helicopters, he moved fearlessly through enemy fire to control the air attack against the firmly entrenched enemy while skillfully directing one platoon in a successful counterattack in the key enemy positions. Having thus cleared a small area, he requested and directed the landing of two transport helicopters for the evacuation of the dead and wounded. He then assisted in the mopping up and final seizure of the battalion's objective. His gallant initiative and heroic conduct reflected great credit upon himself and were in keeping of the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service. After Harvey had returned to Hawaii, he was promoted to captain and went on to attend the Associate Field Artillery Officer Career Course in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Harvey would receive the Medal of Honor from the Secretary of the Navy on the 27th of February, 1967. In October of 1968, Harvey returned to Vietnam with Battery E, 2nd Battalion, 12th Marines, 3rd Marine Division, and would remain there until October of 1969, receiving a Bronze Star with Combat V and Gold Star devices, the Navy Achievement Medal with Combat V device, a Purple Heart, the Combat Action Ribbon, and the Vietnamese Gallantry Cross with Silver Star device. After this tour and returning home from Okinawa, Harvey was assigned to be the weapons instructor at the Basic School Marine Corps Development and Education Command at Quantico until he entered the Amphibious Warfare School in August of 1970. Harvey retired from the Marine Corps in August of 1989 after more than 27 years and as a colonel. Harvey went on to serve as the principal director of the Drug Enforcement Policy Office of the Secretary of Defense President of the Congressional Medal of Honor Society and Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Navy for Reserve Affairs. Harvey C. Barnum Jr. was the fourth Marine to receive the Medal of Honor during the Vietnam War, and in July of 2016, the U.S. Navy named its newest destroyer the USS Harvey C. Barnum Jr. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. God, some want some, man. Sometimes I wonder why I leave certain things in, but hey, why not? If you're listening this far, you deserve a little comic relief. Uh, if you like this podcast, which I know you do, please be sure to leave a nice review and a good rating, and tell a friend. You can see more information and order a T-shirt on Facebook, Instagram, and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to Tales of Honor Podcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. <laughs>